Hi, I have a fun tarot deck to share with you today, and it's an independently published deck, and you know how much I really like independently published decks. It's uh, by a woman in Savannah, Georgia. Her name is Dame Darcy, and it's a mermaid deck that's very much based on Rider weight. It's a lot of fun. It's a little bit romantic. It's easy to use. Here are the backs of the cards. Very nautical. Now, it came packaged in a bag rather than a box. And um, the card stock is, um, I guess, about like Los Scarabeo. So let's look at some of the cards. Here's the Fool. So it's very colorful. She's jumping off the cliff into the water. And uh, so the deck, like I said, it's colorful and it has a sort of a sepia tone to it to give it, you know, an old time feel. It's sort of, some of the artwork reminds me of the 1940s, that style. Here's the Magician. But it, it also, her style also reminds me of some of the graphic novels that were around in the 1990s as well. Here's the High Priestess. I've been enjoying this deck very much. I couldn't wait to show you. Uh, here's the Empress. And so you take a look at her, and then you see in the Emperor card, um, just a little bit of her shows up. I really like this Emperor card. So that's the Empress, her hand. He is holding her hand, and they both have their hands on, on the wheel there. I think that's a nice touch. I like that very much. Here's the Hierophant. And the Lovers is really sweet. So you can see how much this is based on Rider weight, And that's fun. I think that's great. Easy to read. Let's see. Strength. Very nice. And justice. Okay, here's the hanged man. I really like this. It's a sailor. So you can see what I mean about that 1940s feel. Death, he's riding uh, a seahorse. And here's the devil. And the tower, rather than lightning, there is a big wave crashing against the tower. So I like these fun little changes she made. I really like the moon card. It's very dramatic. Dark and mysterious. I like that. And the sun. And here's the world. And I want to show you some of the minors as well. So we'll start with the Ace of Cups. There you go. Okay, and the Two of Cups is very sweet. The Five. The Seven of Cups. And, oh, I like the court cards. Here's the Knight of Cups. There's such a tenderness and a sweetness to this deck. I like the uh, Queen of Cups, too. And here's the King. And let's look at the Pentacles. Here's the Ace. Ace of Pentacles, the Three, the Nine of Pentacles, she found a treasure in the water, and here's the page. And the Knight, he's got his seahorse as well. And the queen. Oh, I like all the queens in this deck. That's just gorgeous. 
So let me show you a few more. And let's see. Okay, we look at some of, here's some wands. Okay, here's the five of wands. And let's see. I'll just show you a few. Here's the nine. So it's seaweed. <laughs> it's growing all around. Around in there. And the page of wands. And the, uh, the queen of pentacles really has a lot of personality here. She's putting on her red stockings and there's a big lion um, head behind her. She looks like she's in for a good time. Very fiery. And the king of wands, look how cool that is. It's dramatic as well. And here's some swords. Here's the ace of swords. And the three. That's different. The five. Um, here's the six of swords. The sailor is taking them to calmer waters. And here's the eight. I like that. And uh, here's the Nine of Swords. She, they're using, she often will use the trident in the sword suit. And here's the Queen of Swords. And, oh, here's the King. Yeah, so this has been so much fun, this deck. Um, just thought you might like to see it. And I'll leave some information about, about that deck below, and have a great day. Bye.